What's up guys, this is Adam from 3dmodesworld.com and welcome to another Maya tutorial and today we're gonna create a quick dirt pass an erosion pass in Maya and all gonna be procedural texturing and you can use this pass to apply to your renders to add more dirt to it like what you see here in the video and just make it more interesting and less like perfect and make the images look more realistic and more cooler so without further delay let's get started okay so before we start uh, creating that uh, dirt in Maya let's quickly just take a look at this image to see uh, what kind of effects we're looking to achieve so you can see here we have a lot of uh, like dirt all over this construction vehicle and this is the kind of effect we're trying to do here we're just gonna add a general type dirt and uh, grunge to the scene just to add it to the whole model and uh, of course tweak it to be less on some parts but it's all gonna be uh, using procedural mapping in Maya so and you don't have to have the model UV'd at all you can have it just un UV'd model and uh, it's gonna work just as fine but for this kind of effect here on the wheels this is like too specific this is need to kind of be painted in the texture maps so there is a limitation what you can do with it so let's go to Maya so this is a model I have it's a construction vehicle we have uh, in our uh, library and uh, it's pretty cool model to work with it have like 8k texture maps which is pretty high res so you can go really close and still see the details okay so first thing let's uh, set up a good angle so we can check and then let's do a render and see what the scene looks like okay so this is how the scene look like now everything looks clean there is a little bit dirt in the texture here but we're gonna apply more into the body and wheels like an everywhere so let's save this image for comparison and then the way to create this dirt effect we're gonna create an ambient occlusion and then customize it to create this dirt effect so let's select the model and then assign new material and let's click on Arnold and click on ambient occlusion okay so now let's go to the settings for the ambient occlusion and then let's just quickly render and see what kind of result we get right now okay so now this is what we got we got the ambient occlusion and this is the beauty pass so this ambient occlusion if you apply it right now it's just gonna do self shadowing and uh, that's great but now we need to convert this and change it to become have a dirt effect so to do that there's a few things we need to adjust into the settings here first thing is we need to invert the normals so inverting the normals will basically allow us to have that rays of the ambient occlusion going inward instead of outward so we don't get this kind of effect anymore we're gonna get something completely different so let's uh, render and see what we got so you can see now we got something completely different like black with a very minor thing so now we need to adjust the near clip and also we need to adjust the black color to start to getting uh, a nice dirt first let's adjust the black color and then assign a new texture to it so let's go with the fractal and let's keep it as it is like a basic and you can see immediately here you start to get a uh, very interesting effect in the ambient occlusion so let's render and see what it looks like on our model so now you can see we changed from this the regular ambient occlusion to this effect using the invert normals and also adjusting the black settings so what's gonna happen now if we take this to photoshop and we add like a multiply on top of the beauty pass all the white stuff gonna disappear and all these black stuff gonna become like dirt uh, into our uh, scene so let's customize this more let's play more with the settings to understand like how we can customize this a little bit more and also how we can tone down the amount of dirt or increase it if we want to so let's save this and now we can change the near clip this is gonna affect how intense this effect gonna be applied to our model so let's change it for example to 10 so now it looks completely white uh, in our uh, shader but always it's good to test the render and see how it looks like so let's see before and after you can see now a lot of the details start to come back to our model but still we, we still got this nice uh, dirt applied to the uh, model as well and of course you can see there's also lots of uh, dirt here and the smaller parts get start to disappear 
so you need to be careful of how you want to customize your, your model you know how much the dirt you want it to be which areas maybe tins a little bit too much let's change it to three and let's render okay I like it at three it's gonna have a lot more uh, dirt in the model which is kind of cool because in this tutorial we're just gonna go extreme and, and do really like super dirty model so this is good and um, yeah you basically just keep adjusting the near clip and adjusting the black here you can add a texture map if you want that have a specific dirt mask to it it will take it and will apply that dirt mask into your scene but this is really quick way to create this dirt type of effect so you kind of break out like you know the perfection in the texture so start to get more interesting so let's take these images now to photoshop and then let's add them together okay so now we're in photoshop and uh, you can see i have the dirt uh, pass and on top of the beauty pass let's select the dirt pass and go change it from normal to multiply so you can see now all this dirt being applied to our model and maybe it's too intense now so we can uh, you know tone it down by reducing the opacity you know also one more thing we can do here let's change it back to normal and you can always adjust the color here uh, by going adjustments and then color balance and then let's start uh, adjusting the colors make it more like a brownish color You know something like that and then click ok and then let's click uh, multiply again and then you can see now it gets more uh, like you know like actual dirt so before and after you can see this is a simple uh, demonstration of what you can do with this effect but you can take it further and then uh, you know have a more like interesting look and of course you know you can always customize uh, the masks that you're applying so you can get more uh, nicer results and more realistic so hopefully this tutorial helped you guys let me know if you have any questions and please subscribe for more future videos until next time take care